Hi, it's Leonor. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Cappies. Uh, hold on, Cappies, while I adjust the camera just a little bit. Uh, okay, I hope that looks good. All right. Um, yes. Hi, Capricorns. It's Leonore. Um, this is Soul Searching Tarot. I am trying a new format, my Cappies. Um, please don't be upset at me. However, your cards were jumping. Yeah. Okay. So uh, <laughs> it may not be as short as possible. So yeah, that's that's my new format. I'm trying to um, make the video. Um, as less um, as possible, you know, less time. Um, for those who are viewing me for the first time, welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't. I would like the messages to go through for the collectives that really need to hear it. If it doesn't resonate, I do have private readings. Just email me. The description is, I'm sorry, the information is in the description box. Just FYI, Cappies. <sighs> retrograde this retrograde here has been kicking my butt um, as far as speech all right so I apologize in advance for my speech all right so I laid the cards out already I meditated over your cards Capricorns so cool um, right before I was about to pre shuffle and, and, and try to meditate <laughs> This song that I haven't heard in like literally, it has to be like at least 15 years, um, it came to my mind all of a sudden. And I was like, okay, this means something. Obviously, when for an empath or intuitive person, when, when a head pops in your head, it really, when a song pops in your head, it really means something. So, I don't know if anyone has ever heard of the song, The Groove is in the Heart. Um, I want to say it's by Delight. The Groove is in the Heart. So, okay, I'm not going to sing because I'm not a good singer. Um, but yes, uh, Google it if you, or, or YouTube it um, if you haven't heard it. It's so up, it's very upbeat. It's a very upbeat song. I love it. Um, okay. So I'm going to um, use my African-American tarot and I'm going to clarify with my Game of Thrones. I don't, I don't think I have used uh, my, games, my Game of Thrones with you yet. Um, for those who are not Game of Thrones watcher, it's okay. The, the meaning is still the same. I'm, I, I won't be a spoiler alert um, for the most part. Um, but anyway, I also have my Karma card and I wanted to see... Um, what will come out as far as my, my karma card, my karma card cards, <sighs> bring it back, Leonore. As far as my karma cards are concerned, um, because it, it does, it breaks up in three, um, it breaks up in three. So signs, houses, planets, and even though your energy Capricorns are still very heavy up in the cosmos, because I felt it really heavy, um, but you know it's you know an astrological point of view, you know it it's your cosmo your your planet um, is is basically taking over half the cosmos, half the half of our galaxy. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be a very heavy energy anyway to begin with. Okay. All right, my loves, uh, just give me a moment. I wanted to do something, but forgot to do it. Okay, all right, so let's see what sign came out. I have not seen these cards. I'm going to be just as surprised as you are. All right, okay, let's go. So, um, interesting. Okay, so the um, sign um, that's influencing you is your polar opposite um, cancer that's very interesting um, I'm actually gonna do cancers reading next but um, hmm interesting okay it is an emotional um, intuitive sign um, it does um, represent the moon so the moon represents cancer and it is a water sign, um, and it is your polar opposite, so, wow, hello. Um, let's see what it says, if any of these key points um, 
you know, hit home with you, um, you know, just take it with you, okay? But it says your feelings, you know, I did say it was an emotional sign. So your feelings, attitudes from the past, that, you know, the past definitely um, rules um, cancer, cancer rules the past. Um, I have, by the way, I have Saturn in cancer, just FYI. Saturn rules you. And um, it's so funny. I feel like a, a lot of my intuition comes from my Saturn placements. And for those who don't know their birth chart or natal chart, there is a website that I have in the description box that you're more than welcome to visit. Okay. Knowing your birth chart is very important. All right. Um, also says intuition to protect. Um, and then it says attitudes from the past. Hmm. Interesting. If anybody's holding any type of grudges, let go of it. Um, that's what I'm getting from it. And then it also says um, resulting from the history of, of whatever, which is pretty much what they just said, you know resulting from the history of the past. Um, the funny thing is that um, I always read the bottom of the deck um, and guess what came out at the bottom of the deck? Your planet, Saturn, um, which I found it very interesting. Um, I love that. Okay. All right, let's move on. Um, so I'm going to start with my um, African-American tarot and we have the nine of swords with the queen of cups uh hmm i do like to show the pictures uh cappies um for those who are viewing me for the first time um i also read intuitive so i know um what the card means but i also read intuitive um and these are general readings um Okay, give me a moment while I figure this out. Mm. Okay. Um, hmm. I do sense worry. <laughs> this is the worry card. Um, but are you worried about not finding love? Because uh, the Queen of Cups is, is again... Um, the Queen of Cups, so funny, it does represent cancer. I just read cancer and what it represents, but, um, hmm. Um, well, anyway, that's for a group of you. You may um, be worried about not finding love. Um, you may be worried about a relationship that, uh, you know, um, just ended, recently just ended. Um, you also may have someone um, coming back and having to be worried um, worried about if you'll take them back, you know? Um, these energies could be vice versa, so you take it as it applies. Let's see what clarifies it. <sighs> so I have the priestess. Hmm, very interesting. All right, it did come out in the um, reverse. Well, the high priestess here in my Game of Thrones, she is the priestess. Um, <laughs> she um, she definitely does magic, um, all types of magic. Um, the fact that it was in the reverse, uh, you expect communication with this person. Um, this person may seem intuitive. Um, may have some type of, um, I don't know, um, definitely the, you know, I mean, intuition that keeps coming to mind. They may have great intuition. Uh, I feel like that's something that you love about them or they love about you. Um, somebody has a Pisces moon or an ascending here, um, if that resonates with anyone. All right, let's move on. All right, uh, my, neck, my next spread, there was a lot. These all jumped out and I had to take them because I can't fight with my spirit guides, um, even when I try to. 
All right, so I have the hair font, okay, in the upright. I have the magician. Somebody here, you know, some type of manifestation. Um, could be you, Cappies. Um, could be the partner. Um, all right. Um, <sighs> interesting. Um, this is my third major arcana. Um, all right. Uh, I'm sorry, my dolls. I'm trying to f see what the temperance. Um, it's hard to read. My African American tarot has, um, as you could see, Roman numerals, but it is the temperance. It's a very healing card, um, but it did come out in the reverse. Um, I don't like that energy. Um, and then I have the Knight of Wands. Mm. Okay, that came out in the upright. I do see some type of um, manifestation and transformation. Um, let me see what I get out of this. Um, yeah, I do sense that there was some type of committed relationship. Um, you may be in one now. Uh, this definitely doesn't sound like a dating situation here, you know. It could have been a situation ship relationship. Um, I don't think I even, you know, I, even though it's a general reading, um, I sense love. Um, past love. Um, somebody's a teacher here, a professor maybe. <sighs> um, I keep looking at the magician and the knight of wands. Um, they both have their hands up. I don't know if you could see that. Um, it's almost like the same person as if literally they're manifesting. I mean, this is the magician. You know, earth, fire, water, air. Um, that's what he's manifesting, um, or she's manifesting. Um, then I have my, you know, Knight of Wands here. Um, he has his hands up with, with his wings um, coming out of a serpent. Um, to me, that represents transformation, but it also represents you guys might have good sex. Um, <laughs> it did come out in the upright. Um, you might have lived with this person. Mm. Somebody could be working in a medical field. Um, it, you know, you take it as it resonates, okay? If you don't, you don't, okay? Um, maybe... Huh, give me a moment, my dolls. I mean, every, I mean, even the Hierophant has their hands up. What the hell? <sighs> What in the world? Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, um, okay. Um, this person is hurt. Um, oh my God. Um, hmm. The, you know, the temperance came out in the um, reverse. Um, and even though the tempers is such a healing energy, um, which is this um, elderly man here, um, also this person may have been, either you or someone is, is struggling to keep a home, um, you, you may have problems financially keeping a home, if that resonates with you. Um, maybe this person wants to move back in with you. You or this person want to move back in with your, um, your ex-lover, your ex-spouse. Um, let's see what clarifies it, okay? Because I'm in this energy too. It's sucking me in. <sighs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, um... So I have the three of pentacles. I have the nine of cups. Hmm. 
in the reverse and then I have the five of pentacles in the reverse <sighs> interesting um, so the three of pentacles um, lets me know I mean the way especially the structure is made um, in this in this scene um, the three of pentacles um, for the Game of Thrones, um, you know, they're building a structure um, for, for um, if I can remember correctly, I think it was a church or a temple um, for people that that um, were low in 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 resources, um, and so they'll be they're building a, a shelter, a home for for these people. Um, if that resonates, if it doesn't, um, you may know, you may have met um, your person at a job. Um, the nine of cups um, again. I sense unhappiness. This this, this came out in the reverse. Uh, somebody does. Somebody is either a teacher here, but okay. Um, and then the five of pentacles came out. Okay, um, the Five of Pentacles to me, hmm, you know, Capricorns, I think that you are in a new place in your life that you're really enjoying and you don't want anybody to ruin it. Um, you know, you've been, you might have been through an identity crisis. Um, I mean, and when I mean identity, cri identity crisis is, you know, um, the crisis in consciousness, um, even um, a crisis in, in, in physical, um, you know, meaning any type of medical issues or worse, God forbid, um, you may be recovering from um, an accident, and I hope you're recovering well. Um, you may have had this person um, or even vice versa, um, help you in the past. Um, so you might not have been in a good place at one point, at one point, but I think you're getting out of it. Um, Sagittarius, this really reminds me of Sagittarius, which is the healing card that came out in the reverse or the fix it angel, like some readers like to say it. And so to me, this is telling me um, because Sagittarius comes before you, Capricorn, um, you you literally are trying to um, transform um, as far as self development. Um, when I when I saw the nine of sorry the Knight of Wands, um, I did say that you guys might have had good sex, <laughs> but um, you know he's coming out of a serpent, and serpent is. You know, what do they do? They shed their skin and, and, and you know, it's a, it is a transformative energy. Um, all right, let's see what's last. Um, my last spread is the Knight of Cups. Oh, God, I knew it had to do with love. Let's see what's clarifying this. The Page of Wands. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on a second. Mm, this person wants to come back either you or this person really wants they do have so much love for you they you know i could see that they're thinking about memory all right sorry capricorns um um the camera just went off but anyway like i was saying yes the fact that cancer came out to represent um, the energy that's going on with you. And remember I said it does represent the past. Um, your feelings. Um, oh, gosh. <sighs> this person may drink a lot. <laughs> Somebody here is a drinker. <laughs> um, I don't think so much so um, abusing it. I hope not, but... Definitely someone is a wine or beer drinker, even so forth. Um, you know, they like to have fun. But um, mm, 
um, I do also sense some type of um, melancholy. Um, so you or your person might might have had some type of melancholy, which probably drove them to drink. That does happen. Um, which with, uh, with the page of wands here, my cappies. Um, Um, in the reverse, hold on a second. I have the four of cups um, at the bottom of the deck um, for my Game of Thrones. And I don't think this person really wants to let go of you. They really feel some type of anxiety with you. Um, you may have had a past life together, or maybe have known this child, I'm sorry, may have known this person for quite some time, you know, maybe maybe even, a, you know, from like, when you guys are at childhood, you, you guys were childhood buddies, or, you know, you went to school together. Mm, yeah, I'm sorry, Cappies, I don't know if this is you. Um, or your person, your ex. I mean, I really sense an ex. And the, retro the retrograde will do that. The retrograde right now is in Pisces. Um, it just went into Aquarius. <laughs> I feel you're more in the Aquarius state of mind as far as energy is concerned, um, which means detachment and... and and more about, um, you know, not detachment in a selfish way, but uh, as far as feelings is concerned, it's like, okay, you know, you're over it. Um, when it gets back to, into Pisces, which is, it has been into, has been um, in, Mercury has been in Pisces for quite some time, but it's going to get back into Pisces, I think, in about a week or so. And um, Pisces does represent illusions and... Um, also, it's a very intuitive sign. Somebody here is very intuitive. Um, um, so, in my page of, of wands, um, I, 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 somebody may be here younger. Um, if that resonates, if it doesn't, it's okay. Could have, you know, you might have broken up with this person because they were immature. Whatever reason it is, you, you know, you know your story more than me, but. Um, I just sense memories. This this person may have really loved the way you you treated them in bed, or you may have liked the way <laughs> they treated you in bed. Um, okay, that that that's like uh, an energy I should stay away from right now because I've been celibate for a while. All right. Um. I know, TMI. Let's see. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I'm an African-American tarot. Yeah, I have the eight of wands in, in the reverse. You you or, or your person um, may have little to no communication. Um, I don't sense any type of blockage. Um, you know, some people do block people, but um, I just feel like this person um, was... Well, this is you, Capricorns. You're enjoying life right now, okay? You're over the feeling, you know, like this. <laughs> you're over it, you know? And so um, your person wants to be this again, okay? Um, your ex. So, and so they are manifesting. I mean, look at their hands up. Manifesting, manifesting praying for you to come back oh cappies um okay anyway that was your video my dolls love you um and i'll see you next time bye